This video is about Ichimoku Cloud Indicator. This indicator can grasp the complete picture of price action, from trend direction to major support and resistance levels, and if used correctly, it can pinpoint the exact entry or exit conditions. All right, let's take a look at the charts and break down the Ichimoku indicator. It's got five key lines that give us a deep understanding into what's happening in the market. First up, we've got the conversion line, also known as Tenkan Sen. This line looks at the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past nine periods. It's like a quick snapshot of short-term momentum, helping us spot those quick changes in direction. Then there's the baseline, or Kijun Sen. This line takes the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past 26 periods. It's like our medium-term view, acting as a support or resistance level. Next, we've got the lagging span, also called Chiku span. This line shows us where the closing price of the current period would be if we shifted it back 26 periods. It's like looking back in time to see where we've been, helping us spot potential trend reversals. Now, onto the cloud lines. We've got faster span A, which is an average of the conversion line and the baseline. It's all about short-term market sentiment, giving us a sense of what's happening in the here and now. And finally, faster span B. This one looks at the average of the highest high and lowest low over the past 52 periods. It's like our long-term view, helping us figure out the overall trend direction. All right, let's dig into how you can decode market trends using the Ichimoku indicator. First off, we've got the Kumo, or cloud. Here's what you need to keep an eye on. Color of the Kumo. If span A is above span B, the Kumo turns green, signaling a possible bullish trend. On the flip side, if span A is below span B, the Kumo goes red, indicating a bearish trend. Kumo versus price. Here's a golden rule of Ichimoku. If the price is above the Kumo, it's bullish. If it's below, it's bearish. It's a simple way to gauge the overall trend direction. And every trend starts with a breakout. When the price bursts out from the Kumo cloud, either up or down. When the price is stuck within the cloud, there's no clear trend in sight. Kumo versus lagging span. The lagging span's position relative to the Kumo can reveal a lot. Above suggests bullish, below suggests bearish, and within means the trend's undecided. Kumo versus baseline and conversion line. Lastly, pay attention to how the baseline and conversion line stack up against the Kumo. If they're on the upside, they support a bullish trend. If they're on the downside, a bearish one. Now let's dive into analyzing the other components of the Ichimoku indicator. Lagging span versus price. When the lagging span crosses above the price, it's seen as a bullish signal, and vice versa for a bearish one. If the price sits above the Kumo and the lagging span crosses up, it's a strong indicator of a potential long-term uptrend, while the opposite suggests a robust downtrend. If the lagging span resides within the Kumo, the trend remains undecided. Baseline versus Price The baseline acts as a robust support or resistance level, crucial for identifying trend changes. If the price crosses above it, it signals a bullish trend, and vice versa for a bearish one. A bullish crossover above the Kumo is strong, within it is neutral, and below it is weak. Conversion line versus price. The conversion line is sensitive to minor price shifts, reflecting momentum. It can also confirm trends. For instance, in a trend, it tends to oscillate back towards the baseline before bouncing back in the trend's direction. Conversion line versus baseline. A crossover between the conversion line and baseline hints at a trend change or continuation. An upward crossover above the Kumo is potent, within it is neutral, and below it is weak. Now let's simplify things a bit. An ideal bullish trend sees the price above the Kumo, conversion line, and baseline with a thick green Kumo. Conversely, in an ideal bearish trend, the price is below the Kumo, conversion line, and baseline with a thick bearish Kumo. Lagging span versus baseline. A lagging span above the baseline signals bullishness, while below indicates bearishness, as the baseline serves as strong support and resistance. If the lagging span hugs the baseline, a significant move might be brewing. In both bullish and bearish trends, each line within the Ichimoku indicator serves a distinct purpose, acting as either support or resistance. During bullish conditions, the bottom of the Kumo cloud provides robust support, followed by the top of the Kumo, baseline, and conversion line. Conversely, in bearish trends, the top of the Kumo acts as the strongest resistance, followed by the bottom of the Kumo, baseline, and conversion line. And by the way, at Vistinda, we've developed the Ride the Cloud strategy centered around the powerful Ichimoku Cloud Indicator. Wait, did someone mention Vestinda? Absolutely, Vestinda is your all-in-one platform for building and trading with customized trading strategies. Whether you prefer starting from scratch or using our vast library of templates, Vestinda offers a seamless experience.
Now let me tell you about the Ride the Cloud strategy, developed by trader Chris Waters on Vestinda. This strategy leverages the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator, excelling in bullish trends by trading multiple signals while riding the cloud. When the market trends downward, the strategy shifts gears, adopting a more cautious approach. Let's take a look at the backtest results. On average, it trades once every two weeks and delivers an impressive 38% return on investment annually, making it an essential asset for individuals seeking stable long-term profits from their investments. And that's a wrap for today's video. We've covered the basics of using the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator in trading and introduced you to Vistinda's Ride the Cloud strategy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For those keen on automating their trading, be sure to explore the links in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.